Gamer again. It's been a while. Just running some easy missions right now. I got a boom time data delivery. Um, taking some reactive armor somewhere. Just playing around in my crate. It's a fun little ship. I've been busy lately. Uh, I'm doing a lot of work. Trying to not get stressed. Right now my daughter and wife are asleep. And I'm going to do some late night gaming for a little bit. So I figured I'd share. Um, did the community goal yesterday, had some fun with that. Um, did some combat in my Fair de Lance and my Corvette. Um, when we get back to IKEA plant here, I'll go over some of my builds um, that I'm currently using just for funsies. Hoping I get interdicted along the way, because we're not going to fight the interdiction. We're going to stop, kill, and continue. Um, right now I'm using my Crate Mark II, which is a... Uh, kind of think Python on steroids. It's a fun little uh, medium-sized ship. You can use a ship-launched fighter on it, so you can have an additional crew member, so a friend of yours can just hang along and fly the fighter, or you can hire an NPC crew member to fly it. A lot of fun. Good weapons on this ship, uh, good maneuverability. It's a good, uh, what I like to call, all-around ship. Uh, it's crate. Yes, I use... Oh, Loop of Shame. It's just one of those ships that uh, has a lot of fun and can do just about everything. It's amazing. I don't do the Loop of Shame when I'm flying solo, flying by myself. But as soon as I start streaming, it's like the brain and the mouth do not work correctly together and you make lots of stupid mistakes. Pretty funny. Not really. So anyway, um, yeah, fun ship. Uh, let's see. Here's my crew member, Albert Fitzgerald. He is a... Uh, he's up to expert now, so he has a higher combat rank than I do. Lovely. So here we are at the home system, IKEA plant, home of Galactic Consortium of Billionaires. Uh, the wing I'm currently playing with, and I'm an officer in. We are, I believe, recruiting on PC. Maybe not. I haven't looked. Mostly, I'm uh, just enjoying the game and playing around. We don't have a lot of PC guys playing in the American time zone. So, that makes things a little frustrating. Now, let me not forget to do this. Crest docking. Always embarrassing if you forget to request docking as you come in here. Then they yell at you, you're trespassing, you freak out, you crash into a wall trying to get out, and next thing you know, you're dead. Because they sure as heck don't call it Easy Care Bear. It's called Elite Dangerous. <laughs> Which just landing can be an extremely dangerous proposition. Especially as I found out in Community Goals, apparently it's a thing to try to ram other players' ships and get killed by them because of the station attacks them. I, I don't get the point, so people get suicide sidewinders and other cheap ships to do it. Kinda goofy. Let's earn a little bit of money. So again, I logged on maybe five minutes ago, picked up the source of return, 63 units of reactive armor. My ship holds 80 units, so I bought the 63. I will deliver them. I'll complete. I'll get 1.2 million credits for, honestly, no effort. And then boom time delivery because it was there. So because I promised it, real quick, we'll look over some of my builds. Real quick, because this is about gameplay, playing the game, not just fun toys. I wish this part was not animated, it would move faster. Alright, so again, this is the Cobra Mark III. Hard points wise, I have three large burst lasers, gimbaled, and these are modified using engineering. 
with long range and flow control. And then two multi cannons, which are modified for overcharged and auto loader. And then just running sh two shield boosters, a heat sink, and a chaff. Core, nothing too complicated. Military grade, A rated all the way around. D rated sensors. And then A rated shield modified for fast charge and reinforced. Only grade 3 right now. I need to get more on that. A cargo rack, fuel scoop, fighter hanger using the uh, GU-97 Imperial Fighter because it's pretty. Uh, for cargo rack, advanced discovery scanner, module reinforcement. reason I'm running that is because... Let's see if I can show you. This is my cockpit. It tends to get shot a lot. And there's nothing fun about having to rush back with a shattered uh, cockpit. Um, so you can see here, decent jump range, like 26 uh, is my current. Uh, fully loaded, 24 power. I still got lots of room to play with, so I might put some uh, other weapons on here. Uh, 770 hull. Defense on this ship isn't amazing. Uh, 618 has shield health, 770 armor, again because I use this mostly for cargo running. You'll see I got some decent uh, kinetic, thermal, and explosive resists. Uh, again, the ship is not a combat ship, but if I get attacked I can usually hold my own and kill, at least NPCs. Players, eh, I might run. Uh, let's see. And I'll show you my new pride and joy. Some of you have seen the model that I currently have. Mm, Fertilance is a good ship, but that's not my pride and joy. Now there's my python. Now there's my anaconda. This is my baby. She's almost fully engineered. And you know what? Before I do another cargo ship, let's take her and show you guys some combat. So before we do some combat, here's the build. So this is my combat ship. I mostly do cargo, mining, um, exploration, stuff like that, but I do like to play with some combat. Um, so for this build I'm using two huge multi-cannons. And they are modified for overcharged and autoloader. So again, it reloads the weapons even while still shooting. I got three. I have one large beam laser. Modified thermal vent and efficient weapon. Two medium also thermal vent and efficient weapon. And then two small multi -cans. So these guys don't do damage. Um, small weapons are mostly for what you can do with them on the modifications. So this one has corrosive, explosive experimental rounds of temporary weak and hull hardness. That's their entire purpose of this weapon is to do that, along with high capacity magazine. And then this one, incendiary. So basically it adds thermal heat to the enemies I'm attacking. And both of those have high capacity because both those experimental effects reduce capacity. Utility mounts, nothing crazy here. Some shield boosters, frame shift wake scanner, because I need those datas. Heat sink launcher, shield boosters. Optional internal, 7A shield. Just reinforced, no experimental, because I have to get it to the darn base to do it. 7A shield cell bank, some cargo for if I'm grabbing stuff. Fighter hanger, hull and reinforcement. Hull of reinforcement, vehicle hangar, because, well, why not? Collector limpet, module reinforcement, discovery scanner, another hull reinforcement. So, again, straight up main purpose cargo combat. And you look over here in the stats. So, we're looking at 20, about 2400 on the shield, pretty much all the resistor positive, 2500 on hull. Um, and again, all positive. The only thing I don't have is caustic resist. And so you'll see in a moment. Let's go ahead and launch. Um, this is the ship that in PvE is basically overpowered.
but she's beautiful. Look at this baby. Oh, yeah. Don't you love the Imperials? They're so pleasant when they say, you mess up and you die. Scan this guy, he might be good for some data. Get moving. Fine. Oh, now you move. Stupid NPC. Should push you out of the way. I'm currently playing on solo. Lately I've been playing only uh, open, so I can get some PvP practice and experience. But I figured for streaming, it'd be better to just play. And not get ganked. Alright. I guess the closest place to get combat is going to be a Hazrez. So again, this isn't the fastest ship. I'm only doing about 350 boosted. Um, but again, it's not exactly a small ship. So when we get over there, and we'll show you guys some combat in the Hazaras. I'm streaming. <laughs> you guys might hear some Anne of Avonlea in the background. Uh, my wife's stuck out. The kid is asleep, so she's going to watch some TV. Let's hope the kid stays asleep. Oh, I'm almost the next combat rank. Sorry for how long it takes. The nearest Hazrez is a decent distance away from Ikea plant. I'm not sure how to properly pronounce it. <laughs> no, I will not slow down. So anyway, like I said, I've been doing a couple of different things. I've not been playing any Star Wars Citizen lately. Um, I keep t having people ask me to come back to it, stream, and play, and I just haven't been motivated. I've been pretty motivated in Elite. I still have a lot to do in this game. Uh, I'm trying to get my combat rank up to Elite, trying to get all my ships fully engineered. So I just have other priorities right now. And... I'm also waiting to be able to buy ships in-game in Star Citizen. Because, um, again, right now there's just... Hey, look, I've earned some money. New patch, all my money's gone, nothing to show for it. So at least I'd like to have some goals in-game. You know, being able to buy ships, gear, etc. Um, I tried logging in the other day and tried to buy a new cannon, and the game crashed. Uh, so it was about a five or ten minutes worth of gameplay, and I was frustrated in about four of those minutes. Um, I know it's alpha, but it's been alpha for a long time. So I'm enjoying playing a game that's not in alpha. Uh, Follow-up mission. I'll look at you later. So again, I'm playing this on PC. I recently got Elite on the PlayStation as well. I will probably do some streaming on the PlayStation later, um, but not anytime uh, soon, because uh, I have to get used to those controls as well. I 
sorry, this is the only, only room in the house with the television, so you will be hearing the TV even though I'm streaming. I'm hoping the mic doesn't pick up too much of it. Alright, so we'll be exiting in the hazard shortly. And let's hope there's some good baddies to attack. So again, ha hazardous res site means there will be no police response, no one to help you out, no backups. Um, but if you're a miner, it also means it's the best place to go mining. Take a wild guess and say this guy is wanted. Oh no, shield of justice. You're clean. Maybe some of these guys are wanted. Ah, here's a wing of two. I'm sorry, buddy. Your life's about to stink. One down. Turrets on this guy. Got another enemy over here. A wing of. How did I aggro a wing of three? Looks like we got more than one target to contend with, Commander. Yeah, I'm guessing because my fighter attacked them. <laughs> this is more than I wanted. Shields are down. Can you keep them off me while I regenerate, Commander? No, I fighter can't. Destroyed. I hope your insurance is up to date, Commander. Why do I have five targets? <laughs> oh look, an anaconda. So what could possibly go wrong with this? Let's use a shield cell. I don't have any cargo, so I don't know how they expect me to give them cargo. Or maybe I do have cargo. Oh, I do have cargo! That's why I'm being attacked by every single pirate. Noob mistake. I was not prepared for that. I'm not giving you my cargo. Forgot. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't go to Hazra's carrying cargo. <laughs> well, anyway, that being said, you'll notice I still have a hundred percent shield in hull. Actually, that's a fighter. Where's my ship? Okay, ship still has a hundred percent hull. <sighs> Again, stupid mistakes you make when streaming. Let's go back and sell this cargo, like I'd intended to. I still earned some money. <laughs> Silly mistake.
So, if you ever want to go to a Hazrez like that and have every pirate attack you, have some cargo on board, and I highly recommend building your ship for a tank, which this one is not. This is a DPS combat ship with some shields. Uh, you could go in there with a cutter, um, which can have something like 6,000 shields, and definitely do a lot better. I probably could have taken one or two more out, but not when I'm up against seven ships. I'd have to go back and watch that video again, but I think there was at least seven. There might have been more attacking me at the same time. And here I was blaming my poor fighter, saying, thinking he had aggroed everyone. But it wasn't his fault. It was his commander's fault for rushing into battle with cargo. But that was kind of neat. I don't know if you noticed, the uh, NPCs launched Hatchbreaker Limpets, and they were stealing my cargo in combat. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know it did that. First time I've had that happen. Actually, let's see. Did that damage any of my modules? 100%. Huh. You would think it would damage the cargo hatch to do that. Nope. Cargo hatch is at 100%. I'm not really sure how that would have happened. <sighs> the silence as you watch me return back to Ikea, feeling sad. It's going to show off my awesome build, but then getting jumped by every pirate is rather depressing. Again, reinforcing, they call it Elite Dangerous, not Elite Easy Care Bear Game. Oh yeah, they want you under a hundred coming in here. You don't necessarily need to do it, but it helps avoid fines. Alright, let's repair and sell this darn cargo that's worth too much trouble. <laughs> Selling it at a loss as well. Weak. 
But I'll make up that loss now. Well, let's see which missions they have. For 88 units, that's pretty good. So again, this is uh, some of the missions you can find in game. Uh, you're going to see more at Allied than you will at other ranks. Um, so you'll see if I look down here, not really any missions that pay really well. Um, but once you reach Allied, like I am with both of these, you'll see ones that are worth a decent amount of money. Let's see. Hmm, that's pretty good. But again, let's go back. I want to go back to the Hazrez. Let's see, find those pirates again, and show them what happens when it. You know, they can't go eight on one. Me first. Me first. We've returned to some combat. What I haven't done on this ship yet, which I probably should have done, is set power priorities. Basically, if they start attacking your power plant, you want to have certain things as main priority. Uh, that should do it. Because as your power plant dies, you lose power, so then you'll have to shed subsystems to then be able to keep functioning, uh, especially with hard points out. Dizzy yet? Alright guys, we're coming back for revenge. Again, so you'll see I'm an entrepreneur, trade rank, elite explorer, competent in combat. So again, a lot of room to learn on combat. CQC is helpless. I've only done that a couple times. Not a lot of people are doing the arena matches. Um, which is unfortunate, because they're definitely fun. Uh, apparently Tuesday nights is when people log on to do it. But I usually end up working Tuesday nights, so hard to find time to do that. Or I'm in a hotel on a mouse and keyboard, 
And uh, let's just say mouse and keyboard is not the most ideal for online PvP. Funny, the soundtrack for this Anne of Avonlea in the background to Elite Dangerous Super Cruise. It almost fits. It almost fits. Someone asked me the other day if travel is boring in Elite. Mm. Eh, it's not, but it can feel that way sometimes. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Name like Beast, you better be wanted. Oop, somebody's scanning me. Shield of Justice. You're worth data at least. Ah, Eric. Hello, Eric. Deadly, but you're wanted. He's running. Right, he's dead. Venturi. Federalist getting scanned by everybody and their mother. Oh, chaff. Dead. Next. Target is history. Hmm. Don't see anyone else. Diamondback Explorer. I doubt you're a pirate in that ship. are, you poor thing. I'm not even going to use the big guns. Bye-bye. So 
So usually, named, like when you see names like that, they're usually wanted, or they're like NPC bounty hunters. Alright, so Naru Jashmish, you're next. Naru, where's Naru? There you are. Target is history. So let that be a lesson. Don't scan a federal Corvette. Unless they're stupid and carrying cargo. At which point scan away, because then everyone else will be attacking them. See any other names. So we have to just target people. Oh, nope. Here's Hans. Hans work. Basically when they use chaff, you can either A, just stop shooting, or you can do what I do, just leave your turrets firing, and then close in, and then hit them with the big gun. Target destroyed. Mark Ward, next target. So you see, it's a lot easier when it's just one at a time. Hey Mark, how you doing today? He's running. Scanby. Eric. Oops, I didn't scan him before attacking. Luckily he's wanted. Next up will be Jessivan. Target destroyed. Where'd Jessivan go? There we go. to be in the clear, but I'll scan the area just in case someone tries to sneak up on us. Here we go. Here's an elite vulture. Let's try this guy out.
I'm in combat, Aston. And elite stone pops. Of course, it's an elite vulture, so kind of a moot point. Type 6 isn't going to be a pirate. I hear a combat. Ah, oh, there's combat. A wing of three. Let's go after the wing of three. So we've got a vulture. And ask Scout. Basically, I use thrusters up and then down, along with flight assist Take off and throttle. Ball, commander. We need to return fire. Hull is critical, Commander. I'm going to be limping back to the ship if I get out of this one. Yeah, well, maybe you should be attacking my target instead of the other one, you brilliant NPC. So yeah, wing of three, no big deal on the vet. Target is history. Glad we came out of that one alive, Commander. And yes, I cannot spell in a hurry. Alright, well that's enough combat. I'm going to go ahead and head back to Ikea plant and stop the stream, because I am leaving on a four-day work trip tomorrow. So I want to spend a little bit of time with my wife, since she was able to escape. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm just going to head back to Ikea plant, and again, if you get a chance to get a Federal Corvette, I cannot tell you how awesome this ship is. Alright guys, talk to you later, 07.